Here's problem 13, 14. A satellite circles planet Roton every 2.8 hours in an orbit having a radius of 1.2 times 10 to the 7 meters. If the radius of Roton is 5 times 10 to the 6 meters, what is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration on the surface of Roton? Based on the original data here, we have this planet Roton, and we have a plant, we have a satellite traveling around this planet in an orbit, and the radius of that orbit is 1.2 times 10 to the 7 meters, and the period of time is given as 2.8 hours. Let's convert that to seconds. 3600 seconds per hour. And that will give us our period of time. 2.8 times 3600 is 10,080 seconds. If we know the period and we know the radius of the orbit of the satellite, we can calculate the mass of the central body. In this case, we can calculate the mass of planet Roton by using Kepler's third law. In Kepler's third law, the period squared is equal to 4 pi squared over g times the mass of the central body, in this case the mass of planet Roton, times the radius of the orbit cubed. So rearranging this equation, we would get the mass of Roton is equal to 4 pi squared over g times the radius of the orbit cubed over the period squared. Alright, putting in our numbers, we have 4 pi squared times the radius of the orbit, 1.2 times 10 to the 7 meters cubed over 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times our period, 10,080 seconds, and we square that. So if I put all these numbers in, 1.2 times 10 to the 7, cube that, times 4 times pi squared, divide by 6.67 to the minus 11, divided by 10,080 squared, I get 1.007 times 10 to the 25 kilograms. Alright, so that's the mass of planet Roton, and we know it's radius, so now we've got a situation where we got planet Roton, we know it's mass, we know the radius, because the radius of Roton is given as 5 times 10 to the 6 meters. So we can calculate its gravitational field because we know that if we were uh, on that planet, resting on that planet, our weight would equal the gravitational attraction between the mass of Roton and our mass over the radius of Roton squared. Alright, so we get rid of our mass and we're left with the gravitational acceleration at the surface of Roton. Let's put a little r there. So the gravitational acceleration at the surface of Roton is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 for our big G. We just figured out the mass of Roton, 1.007 times 10 to the 25 over the radius of Roton which is uh, 5 times 10 to the 6 and we have to square that. So if I put those numbers in, I got the mass of Roton times 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 divided by 5 times 10 to the 6, square that. I got 26.86 26.86 meters per second squared. So that is the gravitational acceleration on the surface of planet Roton. And it's just almost three times the acceleration of Earth. 
So if we were on this planet, we would feel like we weighed almost three times as much as we normally weigh on planet Earth. 